Well, hello. Watch this video to the end, guys. I heard from somebody, and no, it wasn't Don Wells or Candace, but somebody else very close to the situation that has seen the, this device, this heart monitor. They have seen it on Candace. They know this is what it is and what it's for. So I want to explain it to you. Okay, Candace is having pains, chest pain. They're coming and going. She's having evidently fluttering of the heart, so on and so forth. She does have a pacemaker. It was put in there when she was real little. They are concerned that something may be going haywire with it because of the pains, the fluttering, that kind of stuff. So, yes, she was in the hospital. Yes, she was seen by the doctors. Yes, they did put this monitor on her to keep track of when the pains come and go, when, you know, when she's, it's fluttering. Every time she'll have a pain or she feels just something odd about her heart or her chest, she pushes the little button on it. It will send a signal to the hospital, which is basically an EKG machine, and it, it will record everything that happens with her heart. Um, so uh, either it sends it straight to the hospital or it will record it on the device and then she takes and, and plugs it in somewhere and sends it by cell phone, whichever. And the reason I do know this is what this is, is because when my daughter was younger, they had to track her heart, ryth her heart rhythm and the pains and stuff that she was having. Except back then we had house phones that you had to do it on. So you actually had to dis unhook the, the monitor that was hooked up to her and put it against the phone, the uh, earpiece of the phone or the mouthpiece, whichever. And it would send the signal through a house phone. Better technology these days, guys. I mean, come on. Well, back then, if you had a real EKG, you know, done on you, you actually had to be sitting in the hospital. So I guess now you don't. So this is what I've learned about this. Yes, it is real. Yes, she does have one. Yes, they are trying to find out what's going on with her and with her heart. Yes, it is possible that they may have to replace her heart, um, her pacemaker. No, anytime, in my opinion, anytime you have invasive surgery, it is not a lighthearted thing. Do we know for a fact this is what is going on yet? No, we do not. But it is a very strong possibility. I mean, she has had heart problems in the past. She does have a pacemaker. She is getting older. She is under tremendous stress, whether it be, you know, worry or, or guilt, whichever. She is under a tremendous amount of stress. And then on top of that, you don't know what goes on behind closed doors and what kind of stress may be going on there. So, as I have said before, like her or not, say a prayer. Take two minutes out of your day. Say a prayer for this woman that she is not suffering from, you know, a pacemaker that's failing or that her heart is, you know, getting ready to lay down and quit. Um, one of two reasons. Either we want to see her and her child reunited or her and her children reunited if she is innocent and if she's guilty then we need her to tell somebody what happened but we need candace to survive this now there's a lot of you out there that think oh it's no big deal 
Okay, that's fine. But in all honesty, if it was you, or better yet, if it was your child who had a pacemaker and was going through this kind of stress, then would you say that it's not a big deal? If your child had to go in under the knife to try to repair a major organ in your body, a life-sustaining organ in your body, and it was your child, your brother, your sister, your parents, your spouse, then would you all say it's not a big deal? Not taking up for anybody. I just have a human kindness, I guess. I, I, I hate to see anybody go through horrible, horrible things. Hence why I said the monsters that hurt the children should be put on an island all by their little lonesomes with no housing, no covers, no food, no nothing except them, the fresh air, and the terrain that surrounds them with no way off. Let them survive as long as they can. And when they can't survive any longer, then... They'll go to wherever they need to go to, whether it be heaven or hell. So anyways, that's my uh, rant. Um, not sure when this will be put out. I'm recording it today on the 6th, uh, but I'll probably release it in the morning at around 7 o'clock. So this is what this is what the information, you know, simple information that I got on this device, okay? It says, technology allows direct transmission of remote cardiac monitoring data. Infobionics, MOMI, Cardia, remote EKG monitor is an example of the newer generation devices that are replacing traditional halter monitors. It has a single button for patients to create the alert when they are experiencing arrhythmia symptoms. What is cardiac monitoring used for? A cardiac event monitor is a device that you control to record the electrical activity of your heart, ECG. This device is about the size of a pager. It records your heart rate and rhythm. Cardiac event monitors are used when you need long-term monitoring of symptoms that occur less than daily. So take what you will from it, guys. This is a real thing. She is going through this. Why she didn't have a... Hospital gown on within that picture is beyond me. It may have been when they first got to the hospital or when Don went to pick her up from the hospital and she was leaving. And Don said, hey, let me get a picture of her in the hospital bed. Nobody will believe that you were here if we don't. So anyways, you all have a wonderful day. I try to give you guys, when I get information that I am allowed to directly give to you all, I try to give it to you. This was information that was given to me and said, okay, here is the information. Yes, you may use it to try and explain it to people. So there you go.